Pico is a mid-size utility. We serve 288,000 customers and with about 12,000 line miles of distribution. Clico is very focused on customer satisfaction and we are working diligently to reduce the customer frequency as well as the duration of the outages. We started with our DSCADA project which was putting uh, automation inside the distribution substations. This kind of gave us a platform to build all of our automation off from. We standardize on the, uh, on the RTAC for our deployments and we're using that as a, uh, as a centralized hub to bring all of our field devices back to. We're now starting to focus on DA, our automation out beyond the distribution substation fence. And once we start going outside the fence, we basically use the same settings that we had for devices inside the substation as we did for the downline recloasers on SCADA devices. So we was able to keep a consistency between substation devices and downline devices to make it simpler for communications. And uh, we're actually working with Schweitzer right now to try to start capturing uh, fault current from some of our downline devices. So we're able to get the fault current from the downline devices or substation devices, bring them back to our SCADA master and give us a range of plus or minus 10 spans of where the actual fault occurred. So this allows us to uh, find the fault quicker, clear the fault, and put the customers back on. So we went from a couple hour out outage to two minutes for large portions of our customers. We looked at multiple different vendors for automation controls and uh, we tested some different pilots across the system and we ended up going with the SEL DAC. It allowed us to keep our existing reclosure controls and use those in the automation logic inside the RTAC with the DAC. Communicating and interfacing with the DAC is very easy. We just build the DMP points. I can build the points for a DAC scheme in about 30 minutes. The performance that we've had out of the DAC systems has been very good. There are points on our system where it's very difficult to get to a section of line or even to a device. We have some reclosers that you have to have a boat to get to them. Uh, so if we have that recloser on SCADA, we can operate it without having to send a person to it. It saves a significant amount of time. And if we can include that recloser in a DAC scheme, then it further improves you know, how fast that recloser opens and closes during a fault. We've always had SEL recloser controls and we chose them over other competitors mostly because of the support and the standardization with our other devices. A big reason that I like Swatcher is because of their technical support. I mean, you can call and uh, get support engineer that knows what he's talking about and I've uh, uh, been very pleased with the support that they, that they have. Our Public Service Commission has safety and safety targets for us. While we try to maintain below those targets our bigger focus is maintaining that customer satisfaction. So by detecting where the faults are happening, we can reduce the time that it takes for our alignment to find that fault and restore power. By putting in the fully automated switching schemes, a lot of times our customers won't even see those outages. Schweitzer has been a, a big part of that for us.